Thanks for joining me in the Children's Chapel at St. Peter's Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Leslie, and this is the last Sunday in the season of light, or epiphany. So I wonder how many of you like Transformer movies. What's it mean to be transformed? It means an ordinary looking tractor trailer turns out to be not so ordinary after all. <laughs> this semi-truck changes into Optimus Prime, the leader from another world dedicated to protecting the universe. And this ordinary looking muscle car changes into Bumblebee, protector of his human driver. Well, this Sunday, we hear an amazing story from our Bible. You can read it on page 358 in your Spark Bible with your parents tonight. Peter and James and John went up with Jesus on a high mountain, and when they got to the top, something amazing, something incredible happened to their master. Suddenly, Jesus' face and clothes began to shine brightly with this incredible light. And Moses and Elijah, both of whom who had lived a long time ago, appeared and talked with Jesus about God's plan to save the whole world. Next, a cloud covered the mountain and a voice came out of the cloud speaking, saying, This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. And Peter and James and John, they fell down and they covered their faces. They were so afraid. And after a while, Jesus came and touched them and said, Come on, get up. It's time to go. And they looked up and everything was the same as it was before, even Jesus all that glory and light was folded right back up inside Jesus. But the disciples knew that Jesus was much more than just an ordinary human being. On the way back down the mountain, Jesus told them not to talk about what had happened until after his resurrection. And that's when they began to realize that Jesus was God's son. And they began to understand all that he had done for all of us in forgiving us and loving us. Jesus came to us as a human being, but hidden as God's own son and filled with power and strength. And so now he transforms us, you and me, filling us with his very own spirit. And so now, just like Jesus, we have his heart to love, especially when it's hard to do, to love others who can be so very difficult to love. And we have his mind to think of good things that we can do for others. And we have his will to forgive others and patch up our differences so that we can have fun with each other again. We also have his strength to resist what is wrong and to do what is right, to do things that will bring blessing to others. So let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for transforming us with your love and your power to act in ways that will always help others. May your love transform all our lives for good. Amen.